And this window is now all set. I am really, really proud of how this thing came out. I mean, I'm, I'm proud of building the entire house, but there's a lot of just really uh, precise uh, carpentry that needed to go into this. I'm really, really pleased with it. You can see the frame is all around it. The one thing that's left to do is you can see the piece of uh, flashing right here. So as the rain comes down, it'll drip over the flashing instead of going down into the sill there. I need to put one more piece uh, that will just tuck up and over the top piece of this frame. So it'll, uh, it'll come out from underneath this piece of this piece of wood here it'll come out and just go up and over the frame there but otherwise this is done screens on the inside uh, and that's what I'm going to be working on over on uh, on this side here this one still has just got this crappy screen on the outside um, we're going to be working on getting the screen in today I want to talk about that a little bit I injured my thumb uh, working on it yesterday I wanted to just talk about how that that all played out the river's running down here with the chicken we call crazy because uh, she's got crazy feathers all over her head. So uh, when I was putting the screen together, I injured my, my thumb right here. The way I did it was, uh, this is a piece of the frame for the next screen, and I've got this channel in there, and it's got you know four sides. And the way I was doing it was I laid the screen over the top on the floor, and I was using one of these roller tools for pushing the screen in and then pushing this little rubber kind of gasket uh, into place to hold it there. And it really wasn't fitting in very well. You know, the gasket was a little too thick, or I cut this a little too thin. I cut this the, the thickness of the saw blade. I just ripped it down. And I'm, I'm like holding it there and pushing and pushing, and the thing jumped up and rode right over my finger. And uh, at the moment, I, I mean, clearly there's like an infection there. I don't think that it's going to spread, but I'm watching it to spread. Right now, it's just infection around the nail there. This is where it kind of got gouged. I immediately uh, irrigated it and put some bacitracin on it and everything. Um, and what I'm watching for is to make sure that the infection doesn't kind of spread past this knuckle and start going around. If that happens, I'll, I'll give myself a... Uh, or, um, uh, regiment of antibiotics, like orally taken antibiotics. But, you know, those aren't the kind of things you want to use unnecessarily. Uh, you know, they're expensive. And, uh, you know, on top of that, it's just, you know, it's, it's a bad thing to be putting this stuff through your body unless you really need it because there are downsides to antibiotics as well. So I'm just watching it. At the moment, it seems like the infection is just kind of staying around here. I took some garlic the other day, just kind of be flushing garlic through my body because garlic has natural antibiotic properties and that just demonetized and blacklisted the video by me making that claim. But I've had every indication in my own life and my own experience that that is true. Um, but, you know, I'm doing that stuff, monitoring it, and if it, if it gets beyond there, I'm going to be taking some oral antibiotics. But so far, it seems like the infection is kind of shrinking back, and I'm going to be okay. Uh, what I want to talk about today uh, is some, uh, another kind of uh, disaster-averted kind of thing, and it revolves this tape measure here. Uh, see that little curl on the tape measure right there? I, I glanced at that this morning, and I noticed, man, it seems like a little bit uh, more of a curl to it. And I put it up next to a ruler and noticed, oh wow, uh, what seems like it's two inches on here is only actually uh, one and seven eighths inches. You know what happened is I had this up somewhere and it dropped and it landed on that, uh, on that little uh, tongue there and it bent it in. And man, am I glad I noticed it now instead of doing all my measurements because all my measurements would have been one eighth inch too short today. So if you're ever using a tape measure, just it's a good idea. You know, I never thought about it before. Just take a glance and make sure that didn't get dented because when these things fall, they can get uh, uh, dented uh, back and then all your measurements are going to be off. I'm going to be putting this down on a piece of wood and use the hammer to flatten it out and then I'll, I'll check it against uh, a ruler and make sure that it's accurate. So today I'm working on the second uh, screen for the other window up in here. Uh, I've got the uh, frame for that window largely all done over here. There's uh, you know one more board to do because obviously it's four boards to go around the quadrilateral. That's what I'm working on today. Beautiful day today. Working on that and then we're going to start working on these edges here. We want to get everything outside done before it gets cold here because we're headed into the fall. That's it. Thanks for watching.